Hello and welcome to the Molly's Candy Crumbs YouTube channel. Today we will be making banana pudding cupcakes. Before we start making these cupcakes, we have to make the banana chips because they take the longest to prepare. Before we can dehydrate this banana, first we have to remove it from its skin and slice the banana paper thin. The thinner you slice your banana slices, the crispier your banana chips will turn out. Dehydrate your banana slices at 135 degrees Fahrenheit for six hours. Next on the to-do list is to make the vanilla custard. Look over these ingredients real quick, and we're gonna get to making this. Remembering it has to cool down before we can use it in our buttercream later on in this recipe. Whisk together your sugar and egg yolks until it becomes pale in color. Next, it's time to whisk in the cornstarch. Using a good heavy bottom pan, bring your milk up to a simmer. Temper the egg yolk mixture by slowly whisking in a third of the milk. Pour your tempered egg yolk mixture back into the saucepan with the rest of the milk. Stirring continuously over medium heat until your custard thickens. Once the custard has thickened, remove it from the heat and whisk in vanilla extract, butter, and salt. Pour your creamy custard into a heat-proof bowl to cool completely and cover with cling film to prevent your custard from forming a skin. Now it's time to make these amazing banana cupcakes. Look over these ingredients real quick and I'll show you how to make them. In a heat proof bowl, mix together your butter, your white chocolate, and your buttermilk. And then pop it in a microwave for two minutes to melt it all together. Once your mixture is melted and homogeneously smooth, stir in the salt, oil, and banana extract. Next is the banana, but you can't add it looking like that, so we gotta smash it. Mix the smashed banana into the melted mixture. While the melted mixture is still warm, stir in the sugar. Then allow the mixture to cool for about 10 minutes. Into a large mixing bowl, pour in your melted mixture and eggs. Using a paddle attachment, break up the egg yolks and mix them into the melted mixture. Sift flour and baking powder into your liquid ingredients. Using the paddle attachment to mix it all together. Be sure to scrape down the sides and the bottom of the bowl to check for flour bombs. Then continue mixing for another 30 seconds. Now it just wouldn't be right to call it a banana pudding cupcake without the use of vanilla wafers. Look over these ingredients real quick and I'll show you what to do. Pour your vanilla wafer cookies into a food processor and blitz them into a powder. Dump your cookie crumbs into a separate bowl and mix in your butter. You're looking for a wet sand consistency here. The kind of consistency that if you hold a little bit in your hand and squeeze it, it'll hold its shape. Scoop into each cupcake tin liner one tablespoon of your damp cookie crumb mixture. Then using a tool with a flat bottom, compact down your cupcake's cookie crust base.
Fill each cupcake liner to three quarters of the way full. Bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. Take them out of the oven and let them cool completely. And while they are cooling, we can get on to making this vanilla custard Swiss buttercream. Look over these ingredients real quick and I'll show you how to make it. In a medium sized pot, bring about two inches of water to a simmer. Then get a big metal bowl and place it over the simmering water. Over the simmering heat in this metal bowl, whisk together your sugar and your egg whites until all the granules have dissolved. To check and see if all the granules of sugar have dissolved, you can pick some of the mixture up with your whisk and just rub it between your fingers. When you no longer fill granules of sugar between your fingers, remove the bowl from the pot of simmering water. Using an electric mixer, continue mixing this until it becomes thick and glossy. After about three minutes of mixing, add in your cream of tartar and continue mixing for about another three minutes. The Swiss meringue slightly resembles the taste and texture of melted marshmallows. But this is also a buttercream, so now it's time to mix in the butter. Using your electric can whisk, mix this in for about another two minutes. Now it's time to mix in the star of the show, the vanilla custard. Continuing to use the electric hand whisk, mix this in for about a minute. Using a silicone spatula, scrape around the sides of the bowl and then stir it vigorously to knock out any unwanted air. Blitz up about another 70 grams of vanilla wafers for topping the cupcakes. Using a kitchen tool called an apple corer, chomp out the centers of each cupcake. When all the centers of your cupcakes have been chomped out, fill the centers of your cupcakes with vanilla custard. Once all the cupcakes are filled, cover them with that silky vanilla custard Swiss buttercream. Now it's time to take those extra blitzed cookie crumbs and sprinkle them over the buttercream of the cupcakes. And last but certainly not least, it's time to bust out those banana chips for a beautiful garnish. If you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. If you know someone who'd like to try out this recipe, give this video a share. If you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the little bell so you get a notification every time a new video is uploaded. Please leave a comment down below. Thank you.